We've just received some incredible news that's sure to put a smile on your face. If you're part of the Social Security, SSI, SSDI, VA, community, this announcement is for you. That's right brace yourselves for not one, but two hefty payments heading your way. The first installment clocks in at $1900, and as if that wasn't exciting enough, there's an extra $3000 bonus coming your way. It's like hitting the jackpot, but better because it's real. Wondering if you're eligible? Don't sweat it. We'll break it down for you, ensuring that you understand exactly who qualifies for these generous payments. Whether you're a Social Security recipient, receive SSI, SSDI, or VA benefits, we've got the details you need. Curious about when the funds will land in your bank account? We've got the inside scoop on the deposit dates, so you can plan ahead and make the most of this financial windfall. But wait, there's more. If you're feeling a tad overwhelmed by the news or have questions bubbling up in your mind, fear not. We're here to guide you every step of the way. Consider us your go-to resource for clarity and support. In an effort to assist seniors, disabled individuals, and low-income Americans dealing with the impacts of inflation and rising costs, the Social Security Administration and Department of Veterans Affairs have greenlit these substantial supplemental payments. With costs for basics like food, utilities, housing, and healthcare continuing to climb, this injection of cash provides a much needed lifeline. For those receiving Social Security retirement benefits, Social Security disability insurance payments, or supplemental security income, the $1,900 for individuals or $3,000 for married couples represents one of the largest one off payments issued in recent years. And for veterans receiving VA compensation or pension benefits, the same strong payment amounts apply. Now you may be wondering who exactly qualifies for these new payments. Based on the criteria released so far, your main requirement is to be an existing beneficiary as of the end of December 2023. So if you were already receiving Social Security Retirement, SSDI, SSI, VA compensation, a VA pension, or related benefits prior to 2024, you should be eligible for the cash. There are no income limits, asset limits, or other exclusions based on your financial situation. This payment is being made available equally to all qualified beneficiaries, regardless of your overall income level or resources. The goal is to get money out to as many recipients as possible who rely on these vital benefit programs. One important distinction to make the $1,900 and $3,000 amounts are per beneficiary. So for married couples receiving Social Security where both spouses qualify, that means a combined $3,800 payment. And for a veteran with a spouse who also gets Social Security payments separately, the household could receive up to $4,900 in total between the VA payment for the veteran and the pair of Social Security payments. In terms of when you can expect to see this money hit your accounts, the current timeline calls for payments to begin being issued the first week of May 2024. The Social Security Administration will handle payments for those receiving Social Security Retirement Benefits, SSDI, and SSI. The VA will take care of distributing funds to veterans and their beneficiaries. For Social Security beneficiaries, Payments are expected to be issued in the same way and on the same schedule as your normal monthly benefit. So whenever you typically receive your Social Security payment each month, the $1900 or $3000 will likely arrive right around those pay dates in early May. For VA beneficiaries, payments will initiate at the start of May but the full distribution timeline may take a bit longer given the large volume. The VA is urging veterans to keep an eye on their payment accounts starting the first week of May and to give a few extra weeks for payments to fully process. Overall, the goal is to get this cash out to beneficiaries as quickly as administratively possible. Both the Social Security Administration and VA are prioritizing these special relief payments to get money into people's hands right away. One key point to be aware of these payments are completely separate from your normal monthly benefit amounts they will be classified and distributed differently. So whether you receive $1,000 a month from Social Security or $3,500 from VA benefits, this is an additional disbursement on top of those regular payments. Now let's talk about why these payments are being made and what you can expect in terms of eligibility and logistics. According to briefings by federal officials, 
The core purpose is to provide supplemental aid to millions of Americans facing increasing financial strain due to inflation and soaring consumer prices. While Social Security and VA benefits did receive their annual cost of living adjustments for 2023, with Social Security seeing one of the highest COLA increases in decades at 8.7%, the sticky nature of inflation has meant that higher monthly payments still aren't stretching as far as they once did, especially for those on fixed incomes. Basics like groceries, rent, Medicare premiums and prescription costs have seen explosive price growth in the 8-10% range annually. So while benefit amounts increased substantially this year, buying power hasn't kept up for many recipients as those COLA raises get eaten up by across-the-board higher costs. There were already payments authorized last fall, with many of the same recipients receiving payments of $300 or more through the Inflation Relief Payments Program in late 2022. But with inflation staying stubbornly high through the end of last year and into 2023, the administration felt that further action was needed. After extensive negotiations between the White House and congressional leadership, they arrived at the $1,900 and $3,000 payment amounts as an impactful way to get more money into recipients' hands to help make ends meet and stimulate the economy. While inflation is showing signs of easing, prices remain elevated for common household needs like energy bills, transportation costs with sky-high gas prices, and housing expenses. Rapidly rising mortgage rates, rental costs and home prices are squeezing budgets tight for many seniors living on fixed incomes. There's also an element of establishing a buffer or reserve fund, giving recipients the ability to bank away some of these payments for emergency expenses or unexpected costs down the road. Even with price pressures moderating, day-to-day -day costs remain challenging. These payments aim to provide both immediate relief and a bit extra to prepare for future eventualities. In terms of logistics, the payments will be made automatically based on your current Social Security, SSDI, SSI, or VA benefit enrollments. No additional paperwork or applications are required. As long as you were an active beneficiary as of December 31, 2023, you qualify for the full amount. Both agencies will be mailing out formal notification letters ahead of the May payment disbursements. These letters will provide definitive details on payment amount, dates, and any other special instructions to be aware of. But for most recipients, you can just expect the bonus money to show up automatically without having to do anything extra. There was discussion of potentially tying receipt of these payments to filing a 2023 tax return, but that idea was scrapped. The automatic payment approach was chosen to make it as easy as possible and reduce the risk of any eligible beneficiaries accidentally missing out due to paperwork requirements. One unique aspect is that there will be no offsetting or deductions taken from this payment for things like child support arrears, back taxes, or defaulted student loans. It's designed to be paid out in full without any garnishments or withholdings in order to maximize the amount hitting bank accounts. The inclusion of adult disabled children was also codified. So low-income disabled adults receiving disabled child benefits or disabled widows, widowers on Social Security will also qualify for the $1,900 payment amount. From a tax perspective, while the payments are not being treated or classified as earned income, they will still be considered taxable income. The amounts will ultimately need to be reported when filing your 2024 federal income taxes and applicable state returns. However, the good news is these payments are not counting toward income limits or resource tests for eligibility in needs-based federal programs. So the cash will not cause any changes or disruptions in benefits like SSI, Medicaid, SNAP food stamps, or public housing assistance. Furthermore, the payments are not earmarked or required to be used for any specific purpose. It's up to each individual recipient to decide how to best allocate the money based on their financial situation and needs. Whether it's for rent, groceries, medical bills, debt payments, or simply adding to savings, the cash can be used however you see fit. While details are still being finalized regarding payment methods, there are a few key points that have been established for Social Security beneficiaries with current direct deposit information on file. The payment will be deposited directly into your bank account or financial account just like normal monthly benefits. For those receiving Social Security payments via paper checks or debit cards, the additional $1,900 or $3,000 amount will be added onto those existing disbursement methods. 
VA beneficiaries already enrolled in direct deposit will receive their payments the same way, directly into their bank or credit union account. And for VA recipients using direct express debit cards, the payment will be loaded onto those card accounts. Manual check payments will still be utilized for any remaining VA beneficiaries who don't have electronic options established. If you haven't set up electronic payments with Social Security or the VA yet, now would be an excellent time to get that arranged prior to the May disbursements. Having direct deposit details on file will ensure the fastest possible processing and access to these funds. Recipients who do not have a current mailing address or banking information on file will need to be proactive in updating those details and contacting their respective agencies to avoid any payment delays or issues. Both the Social Security Administration and VA will be establishing dedicated hotlines and online resources specifically for questions about these supplemental payments. With such large volumes involved, they want to ensure there are multiple channels to get assistance and have queries resolved. Once it gets closer to the actual payment dates in early May, those hotline numbers and websites will be heavily advertised and promoted through media campaigns, mailings, and coordination with consumer advocate groups. While these stimulus-style payments are currently being presented as a one-time initiative for 2024, there is already discussion about whether it could potentially be renewed or repeated in the future. Much will depend on how inflation trends play out over the course of this year.